Hello, everybody. God bless you. I am so happy that you're joining us for our series, Wealthy Family Series, every Friday for the next four Friday, 6 p.m. I want you to put that on your calendar. We are going to talk about how to have a wealthy family. And yes, you know that I'm a preacher. I am a spiritual leader, but I'm also a financial teacher. So from the context of our faith, we're going to talk about how to have a wealthy family. Question, do you want to have a family that is financially blessed and that can be able to bless other people? I hope the answer is yes. And so if your answer is yes, you have come to the right place. Every Friday, we're going to talk about wealthy family. And today's the first talk. Today, we're going to talk about how to prepare your finances before getting married. Sino dito yung uh, mag-aasawa or mag you're planning to get married? And if you are, again, this topic is for you. Pero pwede naman siguro iniisip nyo, Ay, Brother Bo, I'm already married then I want you to still listen to this message. If you already are married, if you already have a family, because what we're going to talk about are things that you can apply still. It's not too late. Pero siyempre, pag ikaw ay single, and then you are listening to me right now, I want you to take down notes because this is for you. This will determine your future. Gusto mo ba yung future mo ay maging masaya? You know, abundant financially blessed you need to listen to this message i want you to take this seriously and i'm telling you your future is at stake hindi lang yung future mo but the future of your children and so i want you to think about this very very well before i call on our guest today a dear friend of mine I want to just make this announcement just in case you want to join me. It will be a retreat for couples and uh, it will be on that on April 23, Truly Rich Couples Retreat, Winning Strategies for Marriage and Money. That's on April 23 and uh, it will be offered online as well as on a physical location. Um, later on, I'll invite you to that and give you more details. But I just wanted to share that with you. Shangapala, if you're a member of the Truly Rich Club, actually, that this paid event online will actually be free for you if you already are a member of the Truly Rich Club. So I just wanted to say that. But anyway, here we go. I am so excited to share with you a friend of mine. And I've known her since she was very young and she's still very young today she is a financial coach would you believe and she is somebody who has blessed a lot of young people and millennials yun ang focus niya yung mga katulad niya na mga millennials eh teka muna be financially wise naman you know it doesn't wala hindi being young is not a license to you know waste your money and and you know no no you need to be very wise about your money. And so please welcome somebody who serves with me at the feast. She actually leads worship in Feast PICC or Feast Bay Area. And God has used her for young people. Alam mo, siya yung youth leader ng aking mga anak nung she was still a youth leader. Ngayon, she's a worship leader and she does other things uh, for single people. But right now, I, I just want to give a big hand and please give a warm welcome to Chai Santiago. Gamo! <laughs> Hi! I am so sorry. Patrick, I'm sorry. Chai Santiago Gamo. Out of habit, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Tito Bo. Hello, everybody. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Nasa kung saan parte man kayo nanonood ngayong araw na to. Hello, hello. And again, Tito Bo, thank you po for having me here. It's it's really a privilege to be here. Wonderful. <laughs> Alam mo, Chai, I'm, uh, of course, now you are a wife and you are a mother. I just saw Cassie. Uh, ilan taon na ba si Cassie ngayon? One year and six months. Sobrang bilis. 
we've got we've got so many people uh, watching us right now. People from as far as Italy, and uh, yeah, pretty si Reng. Hi, Reng. And <laughs> hi, Mama Reng. <laughs> Uh, people asking for prayers. Uh, somebody's asking for prayers for for an auntie. You know, praying for you, praying for your auntie Tony. And uh, can you just tell us where you come from, guys? We, we'd love to. We'd love to greet you and to tell you. Um, ayano, naku chai meaning tea ni in Hindi. Oh my gosh! Isn't that amazing? Ayan, kilala mo siguro si Gabriel Grace. Hi, Chai. May, may Hi, heart, Ate Gab. Heart. I think she's watching from the UK. Tama ba? Oh my gosh. And then you've got uh, all sorts of wonderful people here. Um, si, si, si Jev is from UAE. Oh my gosh. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Si from uh, Singapore, si Dave Bailona. And si uh, wow. some of them. So all sorts of people coming. Thank you, guys. Tell your friends our topic is how to prepare your finances before getting married. If you're already married, please watch. Please listen because what you're, it's not too late. It's not too late. You, you can prepare right now. But uh, we just want to dedicate the show specifically to single people. Maybe you're, you're, you have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. Maybe you're engaged. And you're saying, what's the best way to prepare for finances? Chai and I will, will talk about, specifically Chai. Ako'y magtatanong-tanong lang dito. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to have fun today. So Chai, tell us. You can go direct to the point and, and tell me what you have for us today. Ayan, siguro I'll start with my one big message. Well, one big message. My one big message is very simple. Be intentional. Yun lang talaga. Be intentional with your finances. I, th I think it all starts with um, having the right mindset. Kasi, yeah. uh, okay, backstory. I grew up not knowing a lot of things about money. My parents, uh, parang typical, ano sila, typical employees sila working in big multinational companies, earning really well. We were sent to good schools. We lived a very comfortable life. Naturoan kami, yung mom ko naalala ko growing up, dinadala niya kami dun sa, ano ba yun, parang happy savers club, parang ganyan. <laughs> okay. Ganon, pero... Yung extent ng tinuro nila about money, hanggang ganun lang, about um, savings. Pero hindi talaga yung detailed. So, as I grew older, hindi ako mahilig mag-save, hindi ako, hindi ako maipo na person, ganyan. And um, I only learned about all these things after our family went through like a major financial setback. So... Um, what does what does financial <laughs> setback mean? Uh, parang nagka crisis po kami, nagka crisis yung family namin financially. So, um, in 2007 there was a global financial crisis, and my parents, actually, na uning mom ko, she was identified to retire from her job at an early age hindi pa po siya ready <laughs> yeah. ayun hindi pa siya ready i was in first year college i had two younger siblings who were still in grade school and high school and isa pa lang po sa amin yung nakaka-graduate talaga from college wow. during that time so parang in short hindi ready yung parents ko and on top of that ko na no nakakatakot <laughs> Did, did you ever ask that question? You, did you ever think that question in your mind? Makakatapos ba ako? Yes! Actually, actually, parang um, at a certain point during my college years, I was already expecting or medyo yeah. nire ready ko na po yung sarili ko na kung ililipat ba ako ng school or yes. tumigal ba ako yes. for a while, etc. Yes. But... Um, Buti na lang, buti na lang po. Nakilala kayo ni mom. <laughs> nila mommy. Ayan, um, kasi yung talagang pinaka-pinaka malaking struggle nila that time, apart from losing their job, was that they were also buried in seven-figure debt. Diba? Parang wala lang, no? Seven-figure debt. And um, they really had to find 
a way to get out of that situation. Otherwise, yun nga, hindi kami makatapos or um, baka yung retirement pay mapunta lang sa bayad ng utang, yes. etc. Yes. So, thankfully, we met you. We met yung Truly Rich. Nagsistart pa lang ata yung Truly Rich Club during that time in 2007. And as they say, the rest is history. So, Um, personally, that's also when I started my journey towards becoming financially literate. So I think yung, yung, when I say be intentional with your finances, I think it's so important that diba, we pay attention to our health, we pay attention to our spiritual growth, to our relationships, ganyan. Pero minsan yung finances, <laughs> parang... Bahala na. na. Oh, yeah. It exists, pero hindi ko alam ano bang pag-uusapan natin about it or may kailangan ba akong isipan. Basta nag-earn lang ako eh. Yun yung typical belief or thinking ng mga tao na ay basta I get by. <laughs> so, um, because we had that wake-up call, I took it also as a responsibility or like a mission to share what I have learned to younger generations. Kasi I would say that I was privileged to not have to go through that personally. <laughs> Parang siguro po, siguro kung hindi ko natutunan baka yung spending habits ko, same with my parents, yung typical nakikita ka and then you will spend everything. Parang ganyan, hindi talaga na plano ng mabuti. So, um, today I will not, ano, dive too, too deep sa backstory or ano ba yung um, the reason paano ako napunta sa pagtuturo ng financial literacy. But I would like to share more about how can, yun nga, how can we prepare our finances before getting married? I really, I actually love talking about this. God! <laughs> Kasi parang um, it's such a beautiful season. The single Life is such a beautiful season. And yung newly married face, sobrang ma-e-enjoy pala talaga siya kapag na-establish mo, especially yung finances nyo as a couple, ng tama. Parang tama. with the right financial um, mindset and foundation, right from the very beginning, the married life will... Especially in start, it will be really smooth as in... Oo nga. Um, <laughs> parang honeymoon phase talaga. Kasi there are also a lot of couples that I know na um, hindi nag-start ng, ng tama. Kung baga, nagsimula ng may utang. And burden, burden talaga yung nagiging start. So how do we make sure that we don't get into that situation. So, I'll be sharing seven tips. Yeah. Woo-hoo! Seven tips lang naman on um, how can we prepare, how to prepare for our finances before getting married. And actually, even if you're already married, I think this could also apply. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, again, Guys, before you before you start sharing uh, your, your, your seven tips, when did you get married? 2019, before the pandemic. Woohoo! So, Buti na fresh, lang. Fresh. Itong mga lessons na isi-share ni Chai, my dear friends, this is not read in a book na, you know, no, she she experienced it and uh, kumbaga kakaluto lang sa oven kasi three years ago lang siya uh, nag-asawa. <laughs> Go ahead, Chai. Okay, sige, tip number one. Have a vision and know exactly what you want for your future. I think pinaka importante sa lahat, diba? Um, sabi ni, I think it was Napoleon Hill who said that. Begin with the end in mind. So what what do you want? Where do you see yourself? One year, two years, three years, ten, twenty years down the line. Galing. Especially with your partner. Parang ako, I got this idea with sa kung paano yung parents ko with us right now kasi the way i see my parents hindi talaga si, parang 
Ay, ang sarap mag-retire na ikaw yung nagbibigay, ikaw yung nanlilibre, yung <laughs> ganon. Parang they're able to bring us to family vacations, they're able to help people, hindi sila yung humihingi. So parang in my head, even when I was still single, yun na talaga yung iniisip ko na I don't want to be poor. Ayoko na ako yung tatanda tapos nakaasa ako sa mga magiging anak ko. Yes. Or... Um, that I will be a burden to my siblings or to to my other relatives. Para I want to make sure na ako yung magbibigay. <laughs> so it really begins with that. Where do you see yourself? What kind of life do you want to live? And etong vision na to, it also has to be communicated with your partner. Kasi um, parang Paano kung mag-isa ka lang? Ang hirap, ang hirap na ikaw lang pala yung may, may ganyang uh, dreams or vision for yourself. ba diba? So, it has to be a team effort. Kasi it's a shared future. So, yun, parang ang sarap, actually, ang sarap mangarap, ang sarap mag-create ng, ng, ng dreams, ng mga goals with your partner. And una pa lang, I think, communication din talaga yung pinaka-importante dito. Eh, na, yes. yes. Um, we, we get to talk about where we want to be. Kasi um, I do understand that there are a lot of couples. Siyempre yung starting point, hindi kayo same eh. Diba? Parang hindi naman same page. Pwede yung Tama. wife is supporting his or her, uh, yung wife supporting her family. Yung husband pwede sobrang comfortable yung life, etc. So, minsan pag hindi nagmamatch, tas you don't get to work towards the same goal, magulo, away talaga siya. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, yeah. and, and, and that's what happens to a lot of couples, by the way, where what happens is that the if they have different financial habits, you know, let's say the wife, uh, matipid, saving, ganyan, ma- you know, oh, tama ka, may vision for the future. But let's say the husband is somebody who, um, you know, bahala na. Hindi, hindi ko, yeah. hindi na intentional, kumbaga. And so, they, they, so what you're saying is that you need to communicate. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So, I think yun yung first and probably one of the most important things na you, yun nga, you start with your goal in mind so that in the long run, you work towards getting or reaching that goal together. Galing. So, ayan. Okay, ayan. Number two. Let's, I, I will be moving on. Ayan. So, tip number two is yun. Get comfortable talking about money with your partner. Um, I know a lot of couples. Parang nagulat ako actually dito na hin- kasi di ba when, like, I don't know with you, Tito Bo, pero di ba when you get so used to talking about money, parang feeling mo, that's the normal. Parang Uh-oh. lahat Parang normal naman yun eh. Pero when I start listening to other people, parang hindi pala siya normal. Mar- mas, madami <laughs> palang mga tao. Yeah, madami palang mga tao talaga na they're not comfortable talking about money. Parang bakit mo ko tinatanong about what I earn, where do I spend my money. Parang they feel na hindi pwede, may wall yan. Hindi mo pwede yep. patukin yung wall na yan because that's mine. This is private. Ganyan. But, um, I think, sa amin ni Patrick, one of the things that really helped us also grow in our relationship was we were so transparent about our our situations. Ay, nawala yung... <laughs> nawala yung... <laughs> Sorry. Dumilim ba ako? <laughs> Konting, konti lang. No problem. Go ahead. Ayan. So, parang we really talked about uh, ano ba yung situation niya. And when when we weren't married yet, hindi ko agad nalaman na he was actually struggling with some money issues. Ayan. Okay. Nalaglag kita, Patrick. <laughs> although, although, ano, he openly talks about this naman. Um, apparently, in the beginning of our relationship, Meron siyang struggle with with money kasi he transitioned from his corporate job tapos uh, nag-move siya towards practicing yun nga 
being a psychotherapist counselor. So, yung yung transition period na yun, talagang bumaba yung income niya, hindi naging as stable, pero yung lifestyle niya, medyo minintain niya, ganyan. <laughs> so, hindi makakeep up yung ano, hindi makakeep up yung income niya hanggang si eventually nag-incur siya ng debt, ganyan. So, um, when we attended the thing, parang it's called Discovery Weekend. It's like a preparation before getting married. Yes. Yun. So, he opened up to me everything na parang I'm I'm struggling financially, ganyan-ganyan, kasi ito yung nangyari, I had to transition, etc. And then, parang from that point forward, yun, we... Um, committed to be fully transparent about our financial situation as well. Although I understand na parang there's also a certain level of ano ba, intimacy in your relationship. Parang uh, not ano, physical intimacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> May certain level of ano, diba, openness na That's kailangan fine. nating ma-reach before we oh, open yeah. up about these things. Kasi baka din First date pa lang. By the way, may utang. <laughs> so parang ano din naman, um, there's also like a journey so yes. that you get to that point na you get comfortable talking about money with your partner. Very Pero good. Yun, um, super duper important na we talk about different things. Number one, what are your money values and beliefs, di ba? Kasi yun... I think you mentioned earlier, Tito Bo, no, na pwedeng yung babae growing up talagang matipid, pero yung guy, kasi comfortable naman yung buhay niya. Magastos. Eh, na, na magastos. Parang ang belief niya, okay lang yan, kasi only naman ang money, di ba? So parang kailangan you meet eye to eye talaga. And yes. when you get married, you also need to establish your own values as a couple. Tama. Parang ano ba yung values nyo with regards to money? Like in our case, sa amin ni Patrick, yun nga, full transparency and honesty talaga. <laughs> walang taguan, walang taguan ng kinikita, walang taguan ng utang, walang taguan ng um, kung may sinusupport ka, etc., etc. So yun. And then second, um, have regular financial checkups. So yes. talk about your goals, are you achieving them? Yung, if you have debt, are you able to cut them or reduce, etc. And then, yan, talk about who will manage what, diba, when you get married. Sino ba yung kahawak ng pera? Sino magbabayad ng bills? Sino mag invest etc. Et and I think itong number four, super important din, especially for those who are part of the sandwich generation which I know na there are a lot of people who are in this situation na they really have to support their family while building their own family. Yes. So, yes. I think importante din yun na makommunicate nyo sa isa't isa. Kasi, oh, um, I, I, ha, I have a very, very close, hindi ko na sabihin ko nina, basta super close to me, na family din that they're in this situation pero sobrang na-amaze ako sa kanila kasi parang kung iisipin ko pwede namang yung isa yung guy maging selfish na lang eh na parang bakit kasi hindi naganda yung pamilya mo ganyan <laughs> <laughs> parang pero the way they handle it as in because they talk about their responsibilities doon sa, sa family nung, nung girl. Parang in-embrace nila pareho. Hindi siya yung, eh, responsibility mo lang yun. Eh, di ikaw mag, ikaw humita pare dyan. Parang ganun. So, it's so beautiful. Kasi yun nga, they're also able to work towards building that support fund. So, yes, parang team yes. sila. <laughs> Pagdating doon. And then, siguro last is yun. Talk about your short term, medium term and long-term goals. I think this is um, one of the most exciting parts of talking about money. Diba? Yung little by little, you're able to tick off goals together. Oh, um, 
<laughs> ang saya, ang sarap balik ka na. Oh my gosh, na na-achieve na natin to and then you move on to your next goal. Parang um it also helps. It also helps in your relationship. So, ang dami kong kwento dito mo, diba? sobrang excited ko talaga. <laughs> Mag-share about this. Very good. <laughs> very good. Ayan. So, I think yun, very, very simple lang. Talagang just go back to that um, thinking na money shouldn't be a taboo anymore. And Oo. talagang get comfortable talking about money with your partner. Even with your family. Kasi yes. yun na, um, yung yun din yung magiging foundation moving forward when you have your own kids, di ba? Parang when you raise them, magiging yeah. aware din sila about money and money management. So Very good. Very good. <laughs> That's number two. Okay. Sige. So move on tayo. Number three. Para sa mga nagpa-planong ikasal. Ayan. So, um, of course, we don't just prepare for the big day, diba? So, sabi nga, we, have, we also have to prepare for the married life. But, I think yung getting married and the wedding is one of the highlights. Diba? Kasi parang very first project nyo yun together. <laughs> diba? Parang yun yung pinakaunan yung pagtatrabahuhan. Talaga na malaki-laki yung involved na finances. And ang yep. daming, ang daming mare-reveal nito sa kung paano talaga humawak ng pera. But I think the most important part is to just really enjoy it. it sometimes it gets messy. Parang lalabas kasi na, but ba't ka makaipon? Asan ka ba gumagas? <laughs> Sarang ganyan. <laughs> diba? Or, but ganyan, uh, but Diba? Parang basta ang daming biglang magpa-pop up na mga issues. And if you're able to overcome those things prior to getting married, practice yan. Practice na yan. So that when you're already married, diba? Parang <laughs> kaya na natin to. <laughs> so, um, siguro several tips lang din to, to, uh, for all those who are preparing yes. for their big day. Um, number one, yan. So, Decide what kind of wedding do you want to have. Is it a big wedding or a small wedding? Diba? Intimate ba siya? Or gusto nyo talagang invite lahat ng friends nyo and families? Diba? Will it be um, a destination wedding, city wedding, out of town? So, anong classing wedding yung gusto nyo? And then secondly, ayan, importante to na you set a realistic budget. So, mag yes. ano din, um, it will be helpful if you reach out to friends who already got married, diba? Para you get you get to um, have an idea magkano yung pwede kong gasusin sa panahon ngayon na may, na may pandemic, diba? Magkano ba ang mga suppliers? Don't be um, afraid to ask. Kasi, ewan ko, like ako, I am, I'm very, very happy whenever people reach out to me and ask me, magkano, magkano yung nag-assess mo sa ganito, chai, etc. Kasi parang, ang saya tumulong. So, if kinakabahan kayo na baka ma-reject kayo or hindi kay sabihan, magkano hindi, people are always happy to help. <laughs> so, reach out to friends so you really get a realistic amount of um, expenses. Yan. And then, um, yung listing down of non-negotiable expense items, Nakuha lang din naman yung tip na to when we got married. Kasi diba, ang mahal-mahal nang magpakasal. <laughs> Parang Absolutely. lahat. Diba, videographer, church, yung venue, um, food, gown. gown. Parang lahat, diba, ang gastos. And if lahat ng yun, non-negotiable mo, paano na? <laughs> Mag-uubos talaga yung ipod mo or parang mapapagastos ka talaga ng sobra. So, I think um, just sit down and piliin nyo lang rin talaga, especially if you're working on a tight budget, piliin nyo lang ano ba talaga yung non-negotiable. Would it be your food, yung church, or um, photographer, etc., etc. So, yun, pag-usapan. And then, number three, work towards achieving your goal, wedding budget. So, 
um, naniniwala talaga kami na dapat hindi natin hihintayin na dumating yung wedding day tas bahala na kung kulang pa tayo. Ano, kung, kung amay magbigay yun yung ibayad natin. <laughs> Kasi ang hirap, ang hirap po umasa sa ibibigay ng mga ibang, mang, ng ibang mga tao. Especially because hindi naman yun yung purpose eh, di ba? Why we invite people. Parang naging, ano patuloy siya, <laughs> naging business na, ay, invite natin si ganito or kailangan ito yung kuna nating ninong, ganyan. I mean, I'm not 300 saying... 300 yung ninong at ninang. <laughs> R-O-I. <laughs> ba? Diba? Parang nakaka-stress na isipin mo na in-invite mo lang sila. Parang, ewan ko, kami, we enjoyed our wedding so much because we know that all the people we invited, like, we invited them because we love to celebrate with them. So, Galing. Um, yung ultimate goal actually namin ni Patrick was to make sure that we don't get into debt. As in, bawal umutang, bawal... Ma- For the uh, wedding. That's right. Yeah, mag-end up with utang. And parang yung sinet naming budget, talagang we really kayod talaga sa Tito Bo. Pareho kasi kaming parang freelancers or client-based. So si Patrick, he, um, he's a psychotherapist. And yung income niya is also variable depending on the number of clients that he would meet. Same So, you talaga you double check all time to sure yeah. that meet the goal for the wedding. So, ano, hindi ka na nasa ano yung uha yung pangbayad, etc., etc. So, we have so much fun. <laughs> yan. And yun, lastly, enjoy the whole process. Because like I said earlier, yep. this is your very first project as a couple, di ba? Parang you're about Tama. to get married and um, masaya siya. It, yun nga, sometimes it will get messy, but just grow through it together because it will be a very, very fruitful process in the end. Yan. <laughs> Woohoo! Ayan, ang daldal ko po, no? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, while you were talking, I, I remember, I, I know of this couple. En grande ang wedding. When I say en grande, sobra. I mean, it, it was just, I don't know how many, how many, ang laki-laki ng guest list reception. And then mga nino at nina, yung talagang bigatin, yung talagang, you know, the senator and all of that. Ayun, naghiwalay. Oh my God. <laughs> and... and No, that was not the only thing. You know, the the worst part was he went into debt to actually throw the big wedding. This is a real true story, huh? True story. Went into debt for a big, big wedding. That was, you know, yun nagiwalay. And I, I'm just, I, I think, you know, these these stories we think they only happen in TV and movies, yeah. but they actually happen. I, I yeah. talked to that person. I, I counseled that person, and I said, yep. You know, you, you you did make a mistake and uh, there. Anyway, go ahead, Chai. <laughs> Actually, dito po, at dami nga ganyan talaga. And so yun, parang, I think to add to what you said, very important talaga na you establish your goal of not getting into debt because the wedding is just a single day event and you have the rest of your lives ba. So parang you wouldn't want to start the rest of your lives in there. Yep. So, Absolutely. <laughs> parang dapat, ano, good start tayo. So, enjoy. Enjoy the whole process and make sure that hindi siya yung maging dahilan pa para maging rocky ang start ng, yes. ng married life. Okay. Ayan, sige. Quick recap lang. No? Number one, have a vision and know exactly what you want for your future. Number two, get comfortable talking about money with your partner. Number three, enjoy preparing for your big date. And number four, ayan, so build your solid financial foundation together. So, um, sige, backstory. Funny, funny to, actually. Kasi actually, hindi siya funny pala. Parang looking back, nakakatawa na lang si Lord kasi 
um, ang, ang ganda nung lesson din na tinuro niya sa amin first hand. So, a week before our supposedly wedding, um, si Patrick got, uh, he was rushed to the hospital. Akala namin parang normal fever lang kasi hindi mo mababa yung fever niya. And yun, super persistent na ang taas, nag-39, 40, ganyan. And then, a week before our wedding, we found out that he, uh, he actually had dengue. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, na-dengue siya. And um, parang nung time na yun, hindi ko talaga mag Parang, Lord, bakit? Ready? Nalakad na kami. Everything is set. mag do na lang kami. Tapos, biglang may ganito. So, our wedding got postponed for another nine days. I think yung, yung one of the lessons that we've learned from this then talaga is yung making sure that you have emergency funds and you have protection. Kasi, uh, syempre, medyo tight eh. Kasi yan na, big day na. Hindi pa naman fully paid lahat ng suppliers, di ba? Kasi you pay for those suppliers on the day itself. And nung na postpone, meron kaming mga ibang items na we had to parang wala, we had to let go and pay another batch for. Kasi nga, na postpone eh. Pero, buti na lang, si Patrick, he, since pareho nga kaming self-employed uh, or parang entrepreneurs, so we don't have healthcare from our companies. Siya particularly, wala siyang personal healthcare or wala siyang HMO from from his employer or yung clinic niya. So, kailangan niya kumuha para sa sarili niya. So, buti na lang, meron siyang, yun, meron siyang healthcare, meron siyang emergency funds. Kasi kung hindi, that was for seven days in the hospital. Only dengue, ha? <laughs> dengue lang yun. Parang kung wala siyang healthcare, I think close to 70,000. Ah! Too big lang yun, dextrose lang. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Parang ganyan, ba? So, syempre, kung nag, ha, nagpa-prepare ka for your wedding, yung 70 ka, hindi, hindi siya maliit na bagay lang for us. No, kasi, no. yun nga eh. Sobrang tight talaga nung, nung gastos. And yun, buti na lang, meron siyang sariling HMO. So, instead of paying that amount, I, I, think, I think he only paid mga... 10,000 or less. So, very, very, very important lesson for us yun na as a couple, even before you get married, start building your solid financial foundation. Yun, get yourself protected, get insurance, um, build your emergency Galing. Galing. funds. Kasi you'll never know what could happen. Parang uh, kahit ikaw uh, pa yung pinakamabait mabait na tao sa mundo. <laughs> <laughs> parang surprise ganyan so it's best if if we're really prepared for for the worst possible financial Tama. setbacks that could happen very good so yeah and that's number four number five tip number five Ayan, learn about investing as a couple so kadikit to nung pag build ng financial foundation I think Ano to, exciting to when you get into this together. Kasi, I don't know, learning about investing is just really fun. Kasi hindi naman siya typically tinuturo. So when you learn something new together, parang it's a deeper level then of, of ano, intimacy. Kasi, uy, Alam natin to pareho, we get to do it together. Hindi siya yung parang, ah, kaya mo na yan, mag-isa ka na lang dyan, ikaw na bahala, ganyan. Oh, so, no. um, masaya, masaya na Tama. you get to explore new things. You get to understand this whole realm about investing ng magkasabay. And I think importante din yung you constantly evolve in this matter. Kasi ba parang, from learning about uh, yeah, and getting the right insurances to getting into the right um, investments, yes. fund, stock market, even cryptocurrencies, ba? Ang sarap niyang i-explore knowing Together. that 
yeah, knowing that you have someone na hindi ako sure, pero sige, explore natin together, di ba? <laughs> Parang yung risk, wala rin sisihan na naglagay ako ng pera dito, ah, alam mo. <laughs> Inaral mo din yan. So, huwag mo kung sisisihin kung bumagsak yan, di ba? You don't have to explain to that person anymore na like. kasi gano'n naman talaga yung investing, eh, ganyan, di ba? Parang when you understand what investing means, very good. You, yun, if you encounter mga pagbagsak or yung mga risks nga ganyan because you know yeah because you know it magkasama, magkasama kayo walang Ama. walang bahala ka diyan kaya tayo na wala ng pera eh. oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah. so yeah and yeah Direct. it's really fun it's really fun to yun nga learn investing with with your partner so Woo-hoo. That's number five. Now let's move on to tip number six. Yeah, we're almost done. Ang dal-dal talaga, but I'm really enjoying. Thank you, Tita Bo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Ayan, you. Go ahead. Okay, so, tip number six: work hard and work together. So, diba, if you've already talked about your goals, kung meron kayo talagang mga big, hairy, audacious goals, importante na you push each other to work hard towards achieving those goals. So, ang dami, ang daming milestones. Like, uh, yun, number one, when you get married. Number two, when you start to have your own family, di ba? Giving birth. Or number three, when you start building your own house. It just gets really exciting when you know that you're united towards the same goals. Kung baga, um, shared lahat, shared responsibility, shared then yung wins, yung victories, you get to celebrate it together. Kasi pareho yung pinag-effortan at pinagbuhusan talaga ng lahat. And um, ang dami, in, in the short span of time that we have been married, kami ni Patrick, pag binabalikan namin lahat ng mga yun, mga pinag-ipunan na namin, like first was yun, when we got married, and then second, when I gave birth, in the middle Ooh. of the pandemic lang naman. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, hindi pala ako covered, hindi pala covered yung mga maternity expenses dun sa healthcare ko. So parang shook talaga kami, as in, <laughs> bakit ganun? So we had to save up for that. And ang galing, ang galing ni Lord kasi when you really, di ba, sabi nga na clarity attracts abundance. So when you know exactly what you're working for or towards, talagang si Lord, He will provide all of the opportunities, all of the means to get to galing. that goal. And mas namumultiply din yung opportunities, lahat ng mga blessings, pag dalawa talaga kayo na nagtatrabaho towards it. Grabe. So, yeah, and ang saya, ang sarap balikan and celebrate lahat-lahat ng mga small victories nyo along the way. And I think even if, like yun, in our case, three years, pag iniisip ko, three years pa lang ba yun? <laughs> Parang, Parang ang galing. Yeah, and grabe yung grace na Lord talaga sa lahat-lahat-lahat. Like kung paano niya kami tinatawid. As in... Lord, thank you. Thank you for this. Yan. It's uh, it's really good to have a partner na kasama mo, kadamay mo, and parang hawak kamay kayong dalawa. Yan. Working hard and working together. Okay. Ayan. And now we're down to our last tip. Yan. So our last tip tip is yan, aim to be good stewards. Siguro, at the end of the day, I'd like to believe that yung wealth, yung money that we have is also a gift. It's it's really a gift that comes from the Lord. In the same way na He gifted us with our relationships, with our good health, with um our skills, lahat-lahat. Parang ganun din yung finances. 
And siguro yung last encouragement ko lang rin to everyone who's listening is that you see wealth or you see money as a gift that you have to take care of together. Parang hindi siya um, ako lang, ako lang yung dapat nagtatithe, ako yung magde-decide kung paano ko to uh, paano natin palalaguin, ganyan, ba So, talagang kailangan you encourage each other, encourage each other to be good money managers. Kasi hindi naman atin to eh. <laughs> Parang lahat ng, lahat ng binibigay ni Lord sa atin, it's really pure grace and blessing. Yes, sure, pinagtatrabahuhan natin siya. Sure, pinaghirapan natin siya. But at the end of the day, hindi naman natin yun makukuha kung hindi din binigay ni Lord sa atin. So the best that we can do is to make sure that we use it well. You use it, we use it to serve others, to serve our future generations, ba? So part of being a good steward is also making sure that you're able to grow it para pag, yun, pag tumanda ka, hindi mo kailangan umasa sa iba. Or, um, kami ni Patrick, we've also committed to support. To support, um, mahal kasi namin talaga ang youth. <laughs> Parang ako talaga dito mo hindi hindi siguro mawawala sa akin yun yung yep. um yung youth ministry. So I think find a beneficiary. Ang sarap gawin noon yung yung you as a couple hanap kayo ng mga beneficiaries that you can support um regularly or consistently. Like for example, gusto niyo tumulong sa mga uh let's say grace to be born yung mga, di ba, pinanganak tas inabandon, or Jeremiah, or He Cares, or if you want to support the youth mission sa LOJ, or kung saan man, prisoners, basta importante na you make that a part of your wealth management, na sabay din kayong nagbibigay and nagsiserve, or sabay nyo rin ginagamit yung pera na binibigay sa inyo to help other people. Kasi, ay, when I, when I look back talaga, I know for sure, 100% that everything that we've been getting so far, it's pure grace. As in, it's not hard for us to give back. Kasi, in the first place, hindi talaga, hindi talaga matalo si Lord. Hindi siya, <laughs> Hindi siya nagbabatalo. <laughs> so parang when you do it Galing. together, maa-amaze na lang din kayo sa kung paano ibabalik ni Lord sa buhay niyo yun. When you use your wealth to serve others as well. So, uh, yun. <sighs> let's let's be good stewards of wealth, Amen. of money, and our resources. Amen. <laughs> So, galing, 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 those galing, are galing. the seven things. And I think yung bottom line pa rin talaga nun is we have to be intentional. We have to be intentional with our finances. Woohoo! I'm reading the comments, Chai, and, and they're very grateful to you. And uh, <laughs> yung mga fans ka dito. <laughs> Grabe yung my fans! <laughs> and uh, uh, my... Si, si, pero may sharing rin, ha? like si Patrick Hoven, uh, ito yung uh, servant natin to, sa feast. Kinasal kami during ECQ, so bawal gatherings, kaya yung mga gift ginamit namin sa business. Wow! <laughs> Until now, okay pa din, oh, di ba? Ang galing! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Um, may nagtatanong, will this be replayed? Yes po. Uh, Tapos, uh, it's it's available, no? It's available in the, uh, oh, si, si Kim. I'm uh, watching Chai Santiago Gamo. Grabe. <laughs> but is it Charlene? Charlene Albina. Yes. God bless you. We've got people from Japan. We've got people. Um, yeah, and Vincent. Hi, Hopefully, we can rewatch. Yes, you can rewatch, guys. And then, uh, ayan, si Patrick ulit. Grabe. Kajan Chai, ang galing mo. Super. Siyempre, yung tukayo ko, magaling din. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
Si Chris, sinasabi niya, nakaka-inspire ang sharing ni Coach Chai. I know she's younger than me, but I learned a lot from her. Thank you and God bless. Uh, I could go on and on. Uh, I, I'm just gonna, maybe just a few questions lang. Uh, actually, one or two lang. Sorry for the lack of time. Pero maganda to, si Chin is asking... That you're such a blessing. Anyway, question, how do you handle finances? Ang, ang, ang basic na tanong niya, is it a joint ang, ang approach niya on finances or hiwalay ba? Joint everything. As in lahat. Walang taguan. So, all of our, <laughs> all of our income combined and yung responsibilities din namin, isang budget lang. So, parang hindi namin ina-assign yung, oh, ikaw sa food, walang ganun. So, lahat ng responsibilities ano din, shared din. May, may, may malaking advantage yan, no? I, I, I met some couples, Chai, na ang approach nala, yung sinabi mo, o oh, ako sa grocery, o oh, ikaw sa tuition ng bata. I've seen some couples na okay naman. They're able to do it that way. As long as they talk. No? Yeah. Pero katulad mo, Chai, ako, my wife and I, talagang joint. And, uh, may advantage, sobra. Sobrang laking advantage pag join. Talagang, you're forced to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Ay, nako. Thank Saka, you so much. Saka, siya nagiging um, breeding ground for secrecy. Di ba? Yes. Kasi, pag, um, I will not tell you how much I'm earning, basta I will take care of these responsibilities. Oo nga. So, May secret-secret pa. <laughs> <laughs> Tama, wag na lang. O yan, si Neil, ang tanong niya, how did you join your finances after the wedding? Madali ba? You, you just said, oh sige, joint account na lahat. Ganun ba yun? Oh yes. Actually po, um, hindi kami nag-joint account before, I mean, yung money namin, like sarili kong pero when I was still single, sa akin lang, nag-create lang kami ng joint account for our wedding. Kasi lahat ng lahat uh -oh. ng money na pinupool namin, doon namin nilalagay. Pero apart yes. from from the savings, wala kaming ibang hinahalo pa doon. And then uh -oh. when we got married, nandun na ulit lahat. <laughs> Including the wedding gifts, um, yeah. Yeah. moving forward, being income, ganyan. So, we combined everything. Specific yung tanong ni Nilo, uh, dinagdag niya, Yung, uh, if you have joint approach, did you also allocate personal fund money sa budget? Yes! Okay. So we actually, we actually have allowances and yung allowance na yun, we can use it for whatever we want. Parang we still have that space to spend on, like if I want to go shopping or if I want to enroll to a particular course, ganyan. So parang yun yung money that I use for my personal um, expenses. Yes. Simeon shares. Huh? Simeon is from Texas. Sinabi niya, me and my husband, we have joint account and separate accounts din po because we send help to each to each of our family sa Pinas. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. At, as long as you talk, as long as you talk about it, it will work. Talagang communication, you know? Yung uh, very, very important. Yeah. Um, Jai, any last message from you that you want to share? Um, we're gonna pray and then we're gonna I'm gonna uh, invite people okay siguro bilang um, like you said during my intro Tito Bono yung advocacy ko talaga is to help the younger generation and like I said earlier it's important that we think about the kind of life that you want to leave behind or ano ba yung legacy yung naiiwanan mo and actually there's a good guiding verse in proverbs 13 22 sabi dyan, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the right so, so i think yun lang din naman eh diba? eventually when you start your own family when um you have your own life na diba? you have your own children parang kailangan maisip natin talaga na the future generation should be good because of us. So parang kailangan 
magsimula sa atin. Kung hindi man maganda yung kinalakihan natin, kailangan magsimula sa atin. So, um, and it will only happen, it will only happen if we really become intentional with our finances. So, yun lang po. <laughs> Thank you, Chai. Chai, uh, stay there. No, I'm going to make announcements and then I'll get back to you for our time of prayer. We're gonna, we want to pray for everybody. But I just want to make some announcements. I'd like to invite you to the Truly Rich Couples Retreat on April 23. My wife will be there. I will be there. Edward Lee, Rex Mendoza. We're going to be talking about marriage, how to work on, our, on your finances, and we're also, of course, going to talk about your relationship. So it's going to be a beautiful time. It will be available online and offline, meaning to say physical gathering. I want you to know that the online event is a paid event because we believe that pag may investment kayo, merong taya. No? You, we, we've got better participants. Yun talagang seryoso sila. And they listen and they apply the truths in their lives. And I know that it will be more effective for you. So um, the rate as of today is 1497. It goes higher as the days go by. I want you to know, though, that if you are a member of the Truly Rich Club, Libre na po to. Every month you get a free seminar from us and it will really be a blessing. So come and join us if you're a member of the Truly Rich Club. That seminar, that retreat is for free online. However, if you are not yet a member of the Truly Rich Club, all you have to do is go to IamTrulyRich.com. That's where you go to become a member of the club. Once you're a member, the retreat, the online retreat for couples is for free. However, I also want you to know that there are some people, gusto nila, Brother Bo, pwede bang mag, mag attend sa isang physical gathering talagang uh, nandyan kayo, live, face-to-face, -face, pwedeng pwede po. April 23 will be a physical gathering as well. And it will be 6975 because, uh, well, you know, we have, we, there will be food, there will be the, the venue, etc. So um, go to trc.ph slash couples to actually join the physical event of the Truly Rich Couples Retreat. And that will be a blessing to you. Most likely it will be in Makati. And uh, come and join us if you really want to join the physical gathering. We'd love to see you face to face. Thank you, guys. There you have it. Chai, maraming maraming salamat. Can we pray together? If you have a prayer that you want to pray for everybody, I'll start and then you can just follow. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we pray for every couple. Every person actually who's watching, who's joining us, Holy Spirit, work in their lives, speak to them. And we pray, Father, that you give them the wisdom that they need in order to prepare for the big decisions and the big events of their lives. If, if there are single people here, Lord, we pray that you would, would just guide and lead them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we also pray for all those who are struggling in their finances. As a couple, please enlighten them. Give them the strength, Lord, to go through this together and for them to be able to see through this all those challenges that they are facing. Bless their future and um, use them, Lord, as good stewards of the wealth and blessings that you will shower upon them in, in their future. Thank you so much, Lord, for the beautiful privilege to love and to serve your people through our wealth. And all these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo! Wonderful, wonderful. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Chai. Thank you, Tita Bo. <laughs> and thank you, everybody. If they want to get in touch with you, Chai, how will they do that? Um, I have social media pages. I have um, a Facebook page. I have an Instagram account, TikTok, lahat na, and a YouTube channel. So you can find me at, at Financial Coach Chai. 
Yeah. So that's my handle at financial coach chai. Financial so. coach chai. Yun ang yun ang search nyo ha, sa Facebook, sa Instagram, sa kung yeah. saan saan. And uh, if you want to get in touch with chai, please do so. She is a financial coach. All right, Yay. guys. God bless you. Chai, thank God you. Thank you, you so thank much you. for joining us. Bye. Bye-bye.